Hey guys, Andos Gaming here. Welcome to another Warzone video. I hope you're having a good day. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the steps you can take to improving your kill death ratio in Call of Duty Warzone. In regards to kill death ratios in Warzone, I feel like some players get really fixated on this number. And to be honest, I was one of those players. In the first few months of playing this game, I remember I had a really bad KD. At times when my KD would decrease, I would feel really down about it. You know, after sessions, I thought I was getting worse at the game. But in reality, guys, with skill-based matchmaking, the better you get at Warzone, the harder players you're going to verse. You start versing streamers, you start versing sweaty Warzone players that play this game 8 hours a day. And yeah, sometimes when I had those moments, I started to doubt my skill. However, as I got more experience and as time went by, I started not caring as much about the number and just focused on improving. So saying that, KDs are really good indicators that you are improving at Warzone. However, I don't want you guys to be too fixated on the numbers. I want you guys to be really focused on improving specific game mechanics at Warzone and organically your KD will improve. In today's episode, I will provide you the most essential tips that you need to know to increase your KD. I feel like sometimes you can be bombarded with information that can distract you from what's really important when it comes to improving. The ultimate goal is to help you get an edge on the competition so you have a better experience. So getting those team wipes, getting those dubs, just getting more kills in general. So let's begin. Tip number one, the most important is to improve your gun mechanics. So you're probably thinking, when you're watching the pros, their gun mechanics are amazing. They're shooting left, they're shooting right, they're just getting headshots everywhere. Well, it's because their gun mechanics is at the elite level. So to improve your gun mechanics, guys, you need to specifically work on a few things. So one of those things is aiming. So aiming is very important. You also need to be strafing while you're aiming and shooting. I see so much casual players just stand there and shoot and it just makes it so easy for the sweaty players to get headshots on them. If you're not strafing and shooting at the same time, you're not doing yourself a favor. So make sure to strafe while shooting, even when checking areas, just always be strafing and it just makes it a lot harder for you to die. Another thing you need to learn is jump shots. If you don't know how to do jump shots, I'm telling you now, you need to know how to do jump shots. It just gets you out of sticky situations makes it harder for the enemy to track you so on that subject guys you have to have good tracking to get good at this game to get those high kills so if you're wondering what tracking is it's basically just keeping the crosshair on the enemies so if you're wondering how do I get good at aiming how do I get good at tracking what I would recommend is actually jumping into a bot lobby so when you're in bot lobbies just practice your aiming and your tracking so repetition is key when it comes to improving your aiming and tracking there is just too much time in between fights when you're playing battle royale so it's really difficult at times to increase your aiming and tracking skills so yes i would highly recommend jumping into bot lobbies and practicing there i've actually already made an in-depth video on how to train and practice your aim in call of duty warzone it will also go over all the gun mechanics i just mentioned in this tip so if you are interested go check it out because if i try to explain everything in detail in this video it's just going to take way too long I'll leave a link in the description, so make sure you check it out after this video guys. So tip number two is movement. So having advanced movement is one of the best things you can do in Call of Duty Warzone. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a little clip here from Joe Wo. Remember to check out his Twitch and YouTube channel, I'll leave a link in the description. But he's one of the best players in the world today when it comes to movement. He's slide cancelling, he's jumping, he's bunny hopping. It's pretty much at the elite level. I just wanted to show you this clip just to show you how good movement can really get in Call of Duty Warzone. I'm not playing this no more. I'm... Are you not? All good. So what you want to do is practice your slide cancelling, your bunny hops, and you know jumping around corners. So having good movement can help you get out of trouble, it can help you get into cover, and it also makes you a harder target to hit, which is quite essential. 
So normally when I'm spectating a player, I can kind of tell how good they are by their movement. So if they're slide cancelling and bunny hopping, I can generally tell that, you know, this guy is sweaty. If you want to get to the next level in Call of Duty Warzone, make sure you practice your movement. My recommendation, if you really want to get better at movement, you need to jump into a bot lobby. And as I mentioned before, you need to practice your slide cancelling, you need to practice your bunny hopping, and also practicing jumping around corners. So once you get familiar with the mechanics, you'll be able to utilize them in gunfights, which is going to give you a huge advantage. If you want a more in-depth guide in regards to movement in Call of Duty Warzone, I've actually already made an advanced movement tips and tricks video. I will leave a link in the description. Again, if you are interested, just check it out at the end of this video. Just before we continue, if you found this video helpful at all, remember to smash that like button. It just helps the YouTube channel grow. Another thing, if you like this type of content, you like Warzone tips and tricks videos, you like getting better, remember to sub to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out. I actually have a lot of fun making these videos and I try to put time and effort into these, so I'll try to improve as I go on. But without further ado, let's get on with the next tips. Tip number three is positioning. You want to position yourself majority of the time near cover. I know when crossing roads and open fields, you don't have cover. However, try to take notice, especially when you're in gunfights, you want to have cover always nearby. So another key note is you want to move cover to cover if possible. This is just to minimize the risk involved. I can't stress enough guys, having cover is just really, really important. When you have cover nearby, you're just way less likely to die, which means your KD is more likely to increase. Power positions are also very important. These are scenarios where you can obtain high ground and gatekeep the enemy. Also what you want to do is you always want to be moving. You always want to be flanking the enemy, changing locations, repositioning, re-challenging. It's really important to keep the enemy guessing, try to be unpredictable and attack from different angles. Tip number four is understanding the risk slash reward system. Another essential skill to have in Warzone is understanding the risks in Call of Duty Warzone. Guys, I want you to start taking notice of the risks you guys are taking versus the rewards you're able to gain through certain gunfights. For example, if you're going to take out a squad using high ground, you have cover, you're gatekeeping, the risk is very low but your success rate is very high. Another example of analyzing a risk, if you see a building and there's a full squad in there, there's no point going in there straight away if there's a full squad waiting for you, it's way too risky. So what you want to do is you want to be able to pick one off from the roof or the window and then storm in after. So that's a very good example of analyzing a risk, hey I can get one down first before I storm in there. So your chances of getting that team wipe is much higher. There are a lot of variables when it comes to risk, but having cover, having high ground, isolating fights to a 1v1 scenario, using your equipment can dramatically decrease the risk and increase the success rate of you winning the gunfight. Last note on this subject, if things are looking way too risky, remember to retreat, re-challenge, change your angles. Essential part of increasing your KD is staying alive, so analyzing your risk for success rate is very important. So that is it for today's video, I really do hope you enjoyed that content, remember to smash the like button if you found this helpful at all, and if you want, share this with your friends, a good squad means a good time, and sub to the YouTube channel if you are interested, and as I mentioned before, KD is in everything, I want you guys to focus on improving at the game, and then organically your KD should increase, but I will see you guys next time, and good luck on the Warzone.